We are back with you on the Market Day Report on a Tuesday, the first trading day after the extended holiday uh, weekend break and uh, not getting off to a very good start for the crop markets today. If you're from the uh, standpoint of the producers out there, a lot of pressure in the grain trade. Let's take a look at the markets with a little extra help by going directly to the trading floor in Chicago. Let's check in with Todd Bubba Horowitz of BubbaTrading.com. All right, Todd, we're going to put the blame on you. Is this all your <laughs> fault for the markets uh, collapsing here in the grain trade this morning? Good, market. good morning, Marlon, and welcome back from the long holiday weekend. <laughs> I hope too. it was a good holiday. You know, honestly, as I've warned over the last couple of weeks, I think this was really much, pretty much expected. You had a long holiday week. You had a very uh, unusual reaction to news, which is why I don't play the news right. The news was not that bullish on soybeans, yet they spiked higher after the USA report. Then they came down a little bit, but they were, they were begrudgingly holding up. And finally, today, you're seeing them, as I say, give up the ghost. Actually, I believe it's healthy for the market. If, if you've got a good marketing plan in place, you're, you're really not all that concerned. Or anyways, it's actually getting you a benefit to be in good shape. But overall, I'm still very friendly to grain markets. But there's a lot of stuff going on throughout all of the economies and creating some more pressure here. And technically, these were due to make a pop down lower anyways. And I think you're going to see there's probably in beans, there's probably some more room to the downside. And I think that you're I'm looking my I wrote over the weekend. My target is 10. 20 in the in Novi beans before I look to be become a real buyer again. Now that can change, but as the overall picture looks right now, 1020 is my virtual target here. Soybeans, excuse me, corn and wheat have now met where I want to buy on a secondary buy. Now I'm looking to get long corn and wheat because I think these are very good levels. We're testing uh, wheat, wheat's going straight down, but I think somewhere around here is good. Corn is actually testing a double bottom back from a couple of months ago. So I think here is a, stop, a spot to get in. But the overall problem is, is there's a lot of outside influence. We've seen the silver and gold and oil markets going wacko. These are part of the problems that are now moving into the grains. All right, let's take a look. On the corn, we have September down 16 and three quarters at 343 and a quarter, still within two and a quarter cents, now two and three quarter cents of our low of the day. <clears throat> Just a bit of a little minor tiny bounce here right now. Uh, December corn currently down 16 at 351. Boy, that soybean market, uh, Todd, just as you were talking about, uh, as we look at the prices, we have August soybeans down 56 and a quarter, trading at 1108 even. And now we have September down 58 and three quarters at 1090, solidly under $11 by a dime now. Uh, November new crop soybeans down 60 and three quarters at 1076 and three quarters, not that far from limit down moves anymore. Uh, looking at the wheat trade in Chicago, we have September now trading nine and three quarters lower at 420 and a half. Kansas City, uh, <coughs> excuse me, we have September down seven and three quarters at 403 and three quarters. We dipped our toe below four bucks momentarily. In the Minneapolis wheat trade, here we have September down six at 494. Is this just spillover pressure here in the wheat, uh, Todd, in your opinion, from the corn and the soybeans going in the tank? Uh -huh. It may be partly spillover, but I really believe this is what we know is in the trading trade is a blow off to the downside. This is now price and time to become irrelevant. The people that are selling wheat, they're just selling. They want out and they don't care what price they get out. And that's really what you're kind of seeing here. That's a blow off to the downside, which means at some point here, it may not be here. And I don't want you to try to pick the bottom. But at some point, we're going to find a bottom here fairly quickly now, because now you've seen the total panic. And as they, the technical term is a total puking on the floor. Now everybody's kind of dumped it. And price and time became irrelevant. Love the imagery. All right, let's take a look at the cotton market. Maybe something better to talk about on the cotton as we look <laughs> at the board here. Uh, cotton futures on December, they were trading a little bit higher. And now even they have turned around. They've given up the ghost. October now 47 higher at 65.57. But boy, the new crop, the active contract, December, down 49 at 64.50. So we have given up about 100 and uh, what, uh, 70 points off of the uh, earlier high here. So uh, something that bears watching there, currently down 47. Todd, we're going to pause for a break and we'll talk livestock when we come back.